Good morning. My name's Carl. I'm a, I'm a 41-year-old uh, father, five-year-old daughter, happily married, living here in Minnesota. Um, my family came over here about uh, a year and a half ago. I, we, I'm from Michigan, originally worked in the auto industry, now working over here. I'm glad to be here. Uh, my story kind of starts out when I was about 18 years old. I was working a summer job uh, out of... Uh, out of college, uh, hard physical work, good for everybody, right? Hurt my back and um, went into uh, the doctor. Thought I, they couldn't correlate this because they said, you know, you've got a back injury, but now it looks like you have appendicitis, so we're going to take your appendix out. Well, they did that, and then I ended up with a, you know, big DVT. And uh, they said, wow, I don't know where that, where that came from. So uh, went on to Coumadin. Um, it started to correlate back farther in my history because my father had passed away when I was about four years old from a blood clot back in the early 70s. But again, kind of like Mark Redding was talking about in his talk, you know, the science or maybe the information around clotting disorders was really not known. So, you know, that was kind of like really unfortunate and that was the way it was always explained to me, but it wasn't um, something where everybody was saying it's connected to this and, you know, how you can kind of start to put it all together now. So I went um, through my 20s, um, had uh, no real issues. I'm pretty physically fit, I like to work out and this kind of stuff. I did um, get into another clot when I was about 30 years old after really long car trips. Car trips seemed to be the big problem for me. So I was on Coumadin, um, long car trip, came back, uh, had another equally sized clot, and um, at this point, um, you know, started working with a hematologist, and, and now we said, okay, we need to do some more testing, because originally back at 20, they had tested me and said, you're protein C deficient. Um, second time around, they said, okay, you're protein C deficient, but you're also factor five. Okay, that's fine. So um, Greenfield filter in the vena cava at that point, and then, um, then added Lovenox to my Coumadin, where I took both of those for about 10 years. Um, ran into another clot last, um, oh, last November or so when we first got over here to, uh, to uh, Minnesota. Um, we bumped into Mark Redding and his team early in the spring and, um, and had um, now straightened out it uh, into just a Fonda Paranox uh, kind of uh, medication, take Coumadin out of the equation. My story is long. I think the key port important points I'd like to convey to you is that um, I've been kind of working with it for about 20 years. You can manage this. You're going to be really, uh, I think, working through the emotional side of it first when you get through that part of it and kind of maybe overreacting or underreacting and can do both to all the symptoms and things that your body's telling you. Um, you can work through it. I have, um, you know, I have a sister who has um, had a PE year a couple years ago. Um, she's working through it. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's the science is evolving. I'm learning more as I go on here. But I, I guess I don't, I don't feel... Um, I feel lucky, but uh, to me it's more of a management thing, and I am really uh, being able to now understand more and to do the right things with my health and to uh, to move things along. The real big uh, thing that I'm thinking about now is my daughter, who's five, and what the future holds for her, and how the science kind of evolves, and um, you know what the best advice I can give her as a father, and uh, you know to make her her health as uh, good as it can be with you know the genetics that uh, she's uh, got from me. Thank you, Carl.